Alright guys, yesterday I posted a video absolutely crashing out about Valve's new update that basically destroyed CS2's movement. And about an hour after my video released, Valve pushed a 40 megabyte follow-up update after the subtick input cap disaster. And while it made things feel slightly better, the core issues are still there. The jump command is horrendously inconsistent still, because the desub tick is broken, and even though the rest of the game is mostly the same, this compounds in weird places. So come with me as we take a little bit more of an analytical approach this time, and see what Valve is really doing with these updates. So as you guys probably already know, the core of this update was to switch the animations over to AnimGraph 2. AnimGraph 2 is Valve's new animation system being introduced into Counter-Strike 2, and implemented as part of Source 2's engine animation rewrite. Now the point of this update was to fix all the animations to be a lot smoother so that they could leverage subtick to the fullest extent. Now since this is in a beta phase right now and they are working out all of the kinks, I'm just gonna let it speak for itself, but, but as you can see, I mean, this ain't looking too hot, man. But anyways, like I was saying, this patch dropped with no fanfare, no patch notes, just a stealthy 40 megabyte update pushed right after everyone lost their minds over broken movement. It doesn't revert the subtick command limit, but it does clean up some of the jank. Your strafes actually connect, your air control is back, and it feels smoother overall. So you can actually play Premiere without jumping in a straight line. I, I guess that's what we're gonna call progress. But B hopping, that is still completely cooked. The command cap is still too low to register all the inputs you would need per jump. You can't consistently chain B hops because some strafes just vanish. This makes movement in modes like Surf, KZ, or just general technical play feel completely sluggish, inconsistent, and kinda just wrong. And in the middle of all of this, we noticed something weird. Strafes feel stronger. And as it turns out, the gain per strafe has actually been increased. And I'm pretty sure this command is the culprit. I'm not sure when they added this command, but in the most recent update, it is true by default. And if you go ahead and disable it, you'll notice that your gain per strafe is back to normal. This has insane applications like this jump by LL Nuke that was previously not possible even if you crouched at the end. Now it's possible without even crouching. So, so that's, that's, that's a pretty big change, I would say. And this has applications in other places like how now you can slowly surf up ramps that you were never meant to be able to climb. And just so you know, this isn't any type of optimization. This is a engine level change. The way CS2 handles movement velocity has been quietly changed. That's what I'm saying. And that has insane ramifications for the game's overall feel. Even in normal gameplay, not doing KZ or Surf, you're gonna notice a big difference. So yeah, CS2 is in a really strange place right now. Strafes are stronger, but your inputs are still capped. You can't B hop properly, but you can make jumps you weren't supposed to be able to make. It's a buff, and it's a nerf, it's a patch, and it's a bug. It feels like Valve is rewriting movement in real time, and we're just stuck in the middle of it. Every movement-based mode, surf, KZ, b-hop, even casual strafing is affected by this. It's not just about the bugs anymore, it is about trust, about consistency, and right now, CS2 movement is anything but that. We're gonna keep testing, we're gonna keep tracking what breaks, what gets buffed, what Valve silently changes next, because movement isn't fixed. It's just less broken, for now. All right guys, I have a few closing notes here. First of all, what on earth is this? I, I don't know what this is. I've seen all sorts of glitches on the ladder where you like go crazy fast going down, you like die in nuke vents and stuff, but this is, th that's just ridiculous. This has to be faster than it was before. I'm not sure 100%, but I'm, it, I swear it's faster than the glitch was before. And besides that, I do have this crazy schizophrenic Reddit post that I do feel led to share with you guys. As you can see here, this was posted on a throwaway account, so the legitimacy is questionable just for that. However, he predicts a lot of weird things, so I'm just gonna go over this real quick. I should also preface that he did delete this, and this is a screenshot of his post. He deleted it after getting harassed by the CS2 community, which, th that's very average. But anyways, as you can see here, he starts by saying CS2 was supposed to release on the 5th of July in 2025. He goes on to say that there were only five developers working on the game during the vast majority of its existence. And he says that many of the issues with the game is because the engine build is based on a VR game, Half-Life Alex. He also makes quick note that Valve have made two original maps which kind of discredits him a little bit to be honest, but I would love to be proved wrong. But anyways, on to the juice. Here he perfectly predicts the name of AnimGraph 2 and that it is scheduled for quarter 3 of 2025. And he says that all collected VACnet data will be wiped after AnimGraph 2's release. 
This is what plays to his biggest credibility that not only was he able to predict the name, but also he predicted that the VACnet data would be wiped. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you cannot load up demos from before this update on the modern update. So it would make sense that all of the VACnet data would be wiped in that case. Then he goes on saying that devs don't know how to announce an update like that. And then he says the next version of VACnet monitors your emotions in voice chat and text chat. So I, I don't know what to do with this, guys. This is how he ends his crazy schizo post. He says that there are now 15 developers working on the game and that the devs are aware of the cheating problem and they have no clue how to even start tackling it, it seems like. So guys, take this schizo post with a grain of salt, but he perfectly predicted the name of it and roughly when it would happen, okay? So we might we might have a time traveler, okay? He might just know, okay? And that, that would be, you just, just keep this in the back of your brain. Okay, keep this info back there. If this is true, I imagine a lot of the things are going to get fixed within a week. So I hope that Valve Panic pushes a few updates and then, you know, we, we get our movement back. That's what I'm hoping for. And I'm hoping they just desubtick the god dang jump input. Just desubtick it by default. Who wants to use your shitty subtick on the jump? Okay, anyways, that's enough. That's enough. Later, guys.